Baxter, this video is going to make you $20,000. Let's get into it. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I'm your host, James Wise. Today, I'm coming to you guys from my home studio. Uh, I like to split time between the Holton Wise TV studio and then my home studio. It's cool being in the real estate industry, right? Because you can do that type of stuff, right? Uh, this industry allows me to, to essentially work wherever I want, right? Which is kind of why you guys come to us, kind of what you guys are trying to do. Like my client today, Baxter, right? The idea behind this business is for the business and where you live not to be uh, intertwined with each other, right? It's, it's live where you want, invest where it makes sense, right? And uh, we're looking at a single family home for you today. You sent me this particular property and you wanted to get my take on it, right? Somebody offered you this property and before you pull the trigger, you wanted me to look at it, make sure it passes the sniff test, so to speak. And I'm glad you did because I'm going to make sure that you make $20,000 by the end of this video. The property, 18401 Hiller Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44. 119 listed a little bit over a month ago uh, by a Remax agent for $95,000. And as far as the home itself goes, dude, it's a it's a bang up uh it's a bang up house, right? Recently renovated. You know, and it looks nice. Nice brick home and the inside of the house, it's exactly what you want your rental to look like, dude. They got the neutral decor. They got the that to me that I don't think those are actual hardwoods. I would say those are probably like a vinyl product, right? But that's great. That's uh, gonna last in between tenants, right? Now there are some rooms. Uh, some of the bedrooms appear to have carpet. Personally, uh, well, personally, from like uh, where I live type standpoint, like in my home, right, my personal home, where where I'm sitting right now, actually, uh, we have wood floors throughout the home, and we do have carpet in our bedroom. So from like a personal standpoint. I like that better, but from a rental property standpoint, I would have liked to see the vinyl carried throughout because you're going to have to replace those bedroom carpets uh, more often than not, you know, between one or two, uh, you know, every, every tenant or every other tenant, right? They didn't go with like a super dark color either, but that, that's just being nitpicky, uh, you know, what you want to do is if you were to purchase this home, you know, you would obviously we continue to run out the current tenants and then if the carpet was still good for the next tenants you'd use it then but when it comes time to replacing the carpet you'd probably be better to just carry that vinyl product throughout the home uh but that's just nitpicky other than that like the, the house is great it's clean it's fresh uh as far as the basement goes you know you got a little unfinished area as well as a finished area the mechanicals all look pretty good the furnace looks in good shape you got the uh updated electrical FYI, that's this house is being marketed as a two bathroom house, just so you're aware. That second bathroom, that's what it is. It's a toilet and a sink next to the electric panel, uh, tucked behind the furnace. So, uh, you know, it is what it is, right? Uh, but the house itself, good condition. As far as the rents, you're getting pretty solid rents, man. Uh, this 3 2 is being rented right now to a tenant for $935 a month. So that's $11,220 a year. And that lease is going to be good till June of 2021. So I like the rehab. I like the house. Everything looks good. The tenant's paying a, a perfectly fair and a great rental rate, right? Everything thus far checks out pretty good. If you look at the price point, ninety-five thousand to the rent, nine thirty-five. You're right there in that one percent ratio, uh, which you know wouldn't be bad at all. Now, I'm not gonna go through the numbers here though, right? Because it's not really 
relevant. Now, if, you, if you're looking at it from like a pure cash flow perspective, again, it's not that bad, but I don't feel like wasting time and I don't want you to waste time on that. Like this is the 257th episode of the show I've done. So if there's somebody new out there and this is the first time they've seen the show and they're watching, they're like, oh, I'd love to get a line by line breakdown. Guys, this is episode 257. Go check out the previous 256 episodes, right? I break it down for you if you're really interested in that. But what I want to talk to you about, Baxter, is, is a little bit more high-level stuff uh, than just the numbers because just the numbers, that's not enough, okay? Like, that's, that's not enough. Like, yeah, the, the property looks great. It's cool. The, the rental numbers appear to pass the sniff test, but, dude, that's not the entire piece to the puzzle, okay? What perhaps is the most important piece to the puzzle is making or losing money when you buy the asset. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you buy this property at $95,000, you're going to lose your ass on this asset. That is a ridiculous price point for this property. You could put this together in this particular neighborhood uh, for well under 75000 You could probably piece together a property just like this. I would guesstimate if, if you were like using like the Burr strategy type deal uh, in the 60s, okay, somewhere in the 60s. If somebody's trying to, to, to sell you a rental, you know, a tenant occupied property that's in pretty good shape where they're, the tenant's paying over 900 like we have here, I wouldn't want to see you pay more than $75,000. I mean, if you look at the comps for, for the, the neighborhood, bro, I mean, you're never, ever, ever, ever going to sell this property for $95,000 ever again, dude. Like, when you go to exit, you're going to be the asshole that loses $20,000, $30,000. Like, right now, the pictures are great. They look beautiful, but dude, those pictures were taken before that tenant came in, right? So if you were to pick this up at $95,000, right? There's no scenario where you could sell it again for 95000 without like doing a rehab again. Like, and even that $95,000 price point, like look at the comps, right? I pulled 12 comps on this for you, right? These are all the properties that sold within a quarter mile of this house for the last 12 months. I mean, dude, 21K, 25K, 31K, 43K, 48K, 48K, 56, 56, 60. And then we have four that are reasonably close, right? All those, I mean, dude, those are like way off, right? And then we have four that are reasonably uh, close, 82 and a half, 83, 88, all those fairly close, but you're still above it. And then the only one that was above yours, which is like a total outlier, a house built in 2003, that was at 137, right? And these four homes, right? I would guesstimate these four homes, three of which are still priced below this one. I would say, Odds are good that they sold to an owner occupant. So the only way you'd ever even sniff this $95,000 price point is if you put it on the market totally vacant to an owner occupant. But you ain't going to come anywhere near sniffing these prices uh, with it just after the tenant moved out. Yeah, if it looks super fresh, super clean like it does in these photos – you might be able to sniff around this price point to an owner occupant. But once your tenant moves out, dude, I mean, you're going to have to go back in and pretty much everything they've done cosmetically, you're probably going to have to do again. You're right. We're talking carpet, walls, paint to get it to look that fresh. And then you could possibly go uh, the route of exiting here to an owner occupant and get in this 80 plus range. But dude, here is the thing. Um, with these types of neighborhoods like this is like a c grade neighborhood like i don't want to poo poo on the neighborhood like from a rental property perspective if you could pick up the property at the appropriate price which the value i believe this property holds is seventy five thousand. as it sits today i think it's worth about 75k if you could pick that up at 75k cool man cool deal but if you're trying to to sell properties in these neighborhoods for more than that to the owner occupied folks i mean that's a tough tough market to work with because you gotta understand neighborhoods like this you know there there's a lot of properties being sold to investors because they have the funds right if you're dealing with owner occupants who are trying to buy properties in this particular neighborhood you're dealing with a lot of i don't, I don't know if i want to call it like low quality buyers but like l let's call it like low financial quality buyers right these are more often than not, going to be like first time home buyers. And then you're dealing with things like FHA loans. And a lot of these buyers are going to be struggling 
to actually get approved for their financing. So how long the property itself is going to sit on the market, you know, it could be like a long time because you're not dealing with a lot of highly qualified buyers, right? You probably would be dealing with like a lot of buyers that would want to buy your home and go under contract, but then you find out they can't actually get the loan funded, right? So I think it would just be like a total nightmare for you because the only way you'd ever get close to, to reselling it for close to what you paid if you paid 95 would be if you moved out your tenant, then you did probably another like ten to fifteen thousand dollars to get it perfect again because you know it ain't gonna look this fresh. And to even sniff this price, it needs to be perfect and fresh again. Uh, to try to go to the owner occupied route, and again, you're dealing with a lot of barely qualified buyers, so it's just very, very tough, right? Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. So the safest route is to, to pick properties like this up at prices that will allow you to continue to sell them uh, to other investors. So for all those reasons, dude, I think you got to just step away from this deal. Like uh, it would just be terrible, terrible mistake. You'd be overpaying by $20,000. So if this seller is willing to sell this property to you for $75,000, sure, man, pull the trigger. Uh, you could run the numbers again, the previous 256 episodes of the show. On the majority of those, I show you guys how to break down numbers on rental properties just like this. Holton Wise would have no problem managing this property, and I'm sure it would perform pretty well. But again, all of that is predicated on you getting $20,000 off of the current price, which based upon uh, you know all the work that they've just put into this, uh, and uh, I believe you said it's like some, you know, new turnkey type outfit. Uh, I mean, it doesn't like sound like a, I'm just going off of what you, I'm not familiar with this company. Uh, I'm just going off of what you told me in your email. Uh, but it, I mean, it doesn't like appear to be like, I think it's probably a stretch to call it a turnkey company. <laughs> it really looks like a dude uh, who has a rental property that was nicely rehabbed and then he just hired a PM uh, and then he hired a realtor to, to put it on the market and he's selling you his rental property. So calling it like a turnkey company uh, seems like a stretch, but this turnkey seller, turnkey company, whatever the fuck you want to call it, uh, it doesn't seem like they're going to be open to a big $75,000, uh, big $20,000 discount to get it down to 75000 Like the tenant appears to be paying rent and it is a nice home. So I would imagine they're not very distressed. I, I think this person is just looking to make that profit, right? Because that's probably all the profit from them. That's the spread of getting you to pay that $20,000 over fair market value, right? So I, I, I'm guessing uh, that this deal probably isn't ever going to go anywhere. But again, if for some reason you can convince them to sell it to you for 75 k uh, sure, yeah, that'd be a pretty solid deal. But other than that, dude, you cannot pay, cannot pay 95 uh, you are going to lose your ass. You're going to lose uh, right there. You just, you pay 95, boom, you just burnt. $20,000 minimum doing this deal. So Baxter, that's my thoughts on this particular deal. Uh, reach out uh, to the private email. Let us know your feedback. If for some reason uh, you want to move forward with this offer, despite what I've said, you want my team to write up the offer and coordinate the inspection for you. We can, we could still continue to do the due diligence, but again, I just need you to know you'd be making a $20,000 mistake, but we can still handle the logistics of it if you still want to move forward. And of course, my team can handle the property management. Everybody else out there, uh, if you watch this show and you're like, oh, that's, that's pretty cool. I'm thinking about investing in the Cleveland market. I live out of state. Uh, but the information this guy just gave this dude seemed pretty good. I mean, he made him $20,000 in probably 10 minutes, right? Uh, if that all sounds good to you and you guys are interested in working with my team, uh, a couple things about us. We are the number one seller of rental properties in the Cleveland market. We have sold over $200 million. We are running the largest scattered site rental property portfolio in the Cleveland market. More information on our property management services can be found on HoltonWise.com. And if you'd like to start uh, by working with us to do one of these videos where we will work for you, just like I'm working for Baxter uh, in a consulting buyer agency type uh, relationship 
where you either send us properties and I give you an unbiased breakdown like I've done for him, you know, get you into the good deals, keep you out of the bad deals kind of thing. Uh, if you'd like my uh, expertise, my experience, and then if we do move forward with the deals, you want my property management and renovation teams to handle everything for you after, we can do all that. So information on the PM, again, is going to be at HoltonWise.com. And then to actually start with one of these shows, to actually start the relationship, you need to go to uh, the property search tab on HoltonWise.com and go to the MLS search analysis show and order yourself an analysis, right? You can either get one property analyzed or we sell them in three, four, and 10 packs. And it's not just you sending me properties like Baxter did. You can do that, but it's also... After you purchase the package, we reach out to you, get your information, get your budget, uh, see what you want to do, what type of money you're working with, how you want to pay for things. Just basically, you know, you purchase the package and I reach out to you in an email like the day or so later. And I just try to gather as much intel as I can on you so I could piece together a great investment plan and I'll go out and I'll find properties for you, right? There's there's over 5,000 other real estate agents in this market. You got these turnkey-esque type sellers that uh, Baxter was sent this property by. Like, you know, there, there's a million and a half ways to find the properties. Uh, so you just tell me what you want to do, what you're thinking, and what you're working with. And I'll go out and I'll, I'll try to match you with the very best property. Because my goal is to get you guys into the, the right properties, but for the right price, right? This property, great property, looks cool. Nothing wrong with this property. It's a cool house. Renovation looks like it was done pretty well, but it's twenty thousand uh, dollars. You'd have to overpay by twenty thousand dollars. That don't make no damn sense, right? You got to get the cool property, but for the right price. So uh, that's what I do. That's what we do. That's how you would do all that, guys. That's all I've got for today's show. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is real estate investing made easy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.